In this tutorial we will discuss pulse polarography. Let's discuss with basic principle of pulse polarography. The polarography in which the polarizing current is applied in the form of pulse is known as pulse polarography. And pulse polarography was developed in an effort to improve Faradaic to charging current ratio. Pulse polarography were developed to increase the sensitivity of DC polarography by minimizing the background capacitive contribution to the current by eliminating the continuously varying potential ramp and replacing it with a series of potential steps of short duration applied at the end of drop lifetime, thus a very little electrolysis and depletion occurs. A simple illustration is shown in the figure. Here, we can see different pulses in accordance to applied polarizing current. A pulse is a very short-lived signal. And pulse polarography consists of application of a series of potential pulses of increasing or constant amplitude for which the current response is measured near the end of each pulse on fully grown mercury drop. In normal pulse polarography NPP, potential is pulsed from an initial potential EI where no redox reaction occurs with a sequence of increasing amplitude pulse where redox reaction occurs. Here, each potential step begins at the same value, and the amplitude of each subsequent step increases in small increment. When the mercury drop is dislodged from the capillary, the potential is returned to the initial value in preparation for a new step. The current is measured, initially before the application of the pulse and subsequently just before end of each pulse. The difference between the two measured current values is recorded for each pulse. Some characteristic features of normal pulse polarography are as follows. Pulse width, T equals 50 to 100 milliseconds. Interval between pulse equals 0.1 to 5 seconds. Drop lifetime equals 1 to 5 seconds. And current is measured for 10 to 40 milliseconds near the end of the pulse where capacitive current I cap is decayed to lowest value. In normal pulse polarography NPP, the polarogram is obtained by plotting the measured current versus the potential to which the step occurs. As a result, the current is not followed during mercury drop growth, and normal pulse polarogram has the typical shape of a sigmoid. By using discrete potential steps at the end of the drop lifetime, the experiment has a constant potential applied to an electrode with nearly constant surface area. After the initial potential step, the capacitive current decays exponentially while the Faradaic current decays as the square root of time. The diffusion current is measured just before the drop is dislodged, allowing excellent discrimination against the background capacitive current. In many respects, this experiment is like conducting a series of chronoamperometry experiments in sequence on the same analyte solution. The normal pulse polarography method increases the analytical sensitivity by 1 to 3 orders of magnitude that means limits of detection is 10 to the power minus 7 to 10 to the power minus 8 molar, relative to normal DC polarography.